I like that we always start kind of with the positive. Let's talk about the good of when we're talking about how powerful time is for investment and wealth building. The reason that it is the most valuable asset in building wealth is because time in and of itself is powerful. Time, when left to itself, can do incredible things, and it can do incredible things in your personal financial journey. So I've, um, you know, what's funny is that I am so touched by one thing. Remember, this all started with my high school teacher telling me $100 a month would turn me into a millionaire. Blew my mind. And then when I started bowling down the concept of what is an actual dollar, whether it's consumed, whether it's invested, what is it, and depending upon what age you are, what it potentially could become, led to us when we went and talked to colleges, to the college seniors who are obviously over 20, but they were 21 years 21 old. 21 years old. This $1 beer cost me $88 because we talk about 88 times mm-hmm. over all the time, whereas a dollar for a 20 to 21 year old, 21 year old because they're legal, um, has the potential to turn mm-hmm. into $88 if they actually put it to work. That's valuable if you if you put it in the context of growth, but also what it means to consumption as well. But this is exciting, not just for the 20 or 21-year-olds. This should be exciting for anybody on their wealth journey. We have a free deliverable. If you've not checked this out, go check it out at moneyguide.com slash resources that we just call the wealth multiplier. We just said that for a 20-year-old, $1 can turn into $88, but maybe you're not 20. Maybe you're 25 or 30 or 35 or 40, and you want to know just how powerful your dollars can be, I would encourage you to go download this deliverable, moneyguy.com slash resources, and see what the value of every dollar that you have can turn into if you give it time to work between now and the time you turn age 65. So, Bo, I want to put some context on this. Mm -hmm. I think people love to learn through stories and experience shares and, of course, great examples. And how could we not talk about the power Mm -hmm. of time without talking about Uncle Warren Buffett? The, The Oracle of Omaha. So here's the thing. We all know, and I think he gets a lot of credit because Uncle Warren Buffett is one of the most wealthiest people on the planet mm-hmm. Earth. Um, is that because he's a genius investor? We, we, I think a lot of people put that column, yes, genius investor. It's immediate checkbox. But That's I, I want to really ask the question, is it also because he's a maximizer of time? Because Warren is not a spring chicken. Nope. I mean, he is, he, is, he is a little longer in the tooth. And we actually wanted to kind of take this deeper and look at Warren's wealth building process. Now, it's interesting, Brian, when people think about Warren Buffett, one of the first things that comes to their mind is, oh, he's a billionaire. Well, we've made this statement on the show before that if you're someone who's young, and Brian, I'll let you share what young is, that you too are also a billionaire, and we're going to show you why we say that and why that matters and how it actually connects to Warren Buffett and him being a billionaire. Well, there's this concept of what is a billion seconds Mm -hmm. of life? We, we got Daniel to actually do the nerdy calculation. It works out to be right under 32 years. 31.7 mm-hmm. years is what a billion seconds looks like. So really, for most of us under 45, I should most of you under 45, because mm-hmm. some of us aren't under 45, so, you're also of a billionaire us. of time. So you have the most valuable resource to wealth building is in your possession – Let's talk about now the example of how we put this to work. So let's think about Warren Buffett, right? So if we look at his wealth through time, he actually did not hit a billion dollars. He didn't make it to a billion until he was 55 years old. But from the time of 55 until now, age 92, he is worth over 110 billion dollars. But that's only part of the story. Well, yeah, we got to put that in context. A billion dollars is a lot of money. That's mm-hmm. more than than only a small handful of people have a yep. billion dollars. But think about the fact that Warren Buffett at 55 years of age hits that billion dollars and that's still only that's less than 1% mm-hmm. of his future net worth. Guys, this is why when I tell you, especially if you can see the visual of what we put up here where he's on this journey to building incredible wealth is that you need to quit thinking linear. That's what humans do. We think about linear math where we're saying 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 8, 10. You see what I'm going here. Whereas if you actually think exponential, where 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 16, I'm going to stop with the public math because I'll get myself in trouble. But you'll quickly see exponential growth is 
actually what happens if you will harness the power of time. Yeah, when you look at Warren, he did not become a billionaire overnight. He did not become a multi-billionaire overnight, at least not until much later on in his life, which he had the foundation of wealth built up. What's really, really interesting about Warren Buffett is that he bought his first stock. He actually began his investing journey in 1941 at the age of 11 years old. And so you think he started investing at 11, and now fast forward to how old he is now, that means that he's been investing for over 80 years. He has been putting his money to work, allowing it to let time do what time does for over 80 years. So what I think is interesting, if we bold this down, started at 11, hit his first billion dollars at 55. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's right at 44 years of growth. Yep. I would I would love to see a case study, Bo. Is like I said, is he a genius investor or is he just a maximizer of this precious resource and the wealth building process of maximizing time? Mm-hmm. We can do a case study and actually show people you might be surprised that you too could be a billionaire just by having the component of time. Yeah, this is the question that we asked. What if your desire, your goal were to become a billionaire? How hard would that have to be? So we said, all right, if you were someone and you started in 1941 investing $943.81 per month, and you started that in 1941, over that 40-year period, a normal working life cycle from 1941 all the way until 1981, you would end up with $10 million. Which so I it, think, yeah, give them, let's give them some context mm-hmm. here. Why did we say, Why? because why, I see there's a, a little asterisk down there. It mm-hmm. says annualized performance of the S&P 500 was 11.28%. Yep. So Smart Daniel has actually gone out there and done the research and found that the actual annualized performance of the S&P 500 from mm-hmm. 1941 all the way through the end of 2022 was 11.28%. That's amazing in Mm -hmm. itself. That's not being the great Warren Buffett investor. That's not going to figure out what stocks to buy and what companies to own. It's doing what we say, the lazy way of investing, just going out and buying the S&P 500. Now, Bo, also, you gave another variable, $943 a -hmm. month. There's going to be something to that, isn't there? Absolutely. So if we think about, uh, so from 1941 to 1981, $943 a month invested over that 40 years would turn into $10 million, which is unbelievable. That's an extreme amount of wealth to have accumulated. But that's only part of the story. Because remember what we said, Warren Buffett has actually been investing for over 80 years. So what if instead of stopping in that 40-year period, stopping at 1981, you kept the train going and you continued investing $943 per month from 1941 all the way until present day, well, if you were to have done that, you would hit $1 billion in your portfolio by today. This is what makes billionaires, I think, by the way, because I've heard the whole story, you know, Walt Disney had made um, his fortune, but then he, he he pushed further. He actually did the whole Snow White mm-hmm. movie and all, you know, and mortgaged his house and everything to make it happen. I think it is interesting. Most people probably would have stopped at $10 million. They would have diversified. They would have spread it out. But in our example, just to be a teachable moment, we said, nope, this person that reached $10 million after the, the 40 plus years said, you know what? Not enough. Let's keep it rolling. Yep. Kept it p- poured into the S&P 500. It is amazing to see $10 million and another 40 year plus years of growth turned into $1 billion. It is back to my point that I made earlier. You need to not think linear. Mm-hmm. You need to think exponential on your wealth building. And the most important thing when you're young is how do I put that money to work and how can I save more? Because this is... If if Warren is only one percent, uh, less than one percent of his future wealth at fifty five, he had to get to that critical mass. So you, as a young person or even a mid age person who's trying to build wealth, get busy trying to build up your pot as fast as possible, so it can start working harder for you than you can with your back brains in your in, in, in your in your hands. It's not incredible to think, you know, maybe you don't have eighty two years to continue investing, or maybe you think that's unrealistic. But a lot of us, if we start investing early and we start 
in, in high school or in college and we have 529 assets, we have Roth assets, it's not crazy to think that, yeah, our money can at least grow for 40 years, but maybe we are in a position where our money can grow for 40, 50, 60, even 70 years for a lot of the folks that we interact with. That's how long they've had their dollars invested. If you can stretch out your timeline, it's amazing how powerful time can be in your wealth building journey.